Hey everybody, this is Christopher Gimmer from BootstrapBay.com and welcome to part 12 of our Bootstrap 3 tutorial. Today we're going to be using the CSS transform and transition effects. Now uh, with these CSS effects, obviously it doesn't have to be applied strictly to a Bootstrap site. You can apply these effects to any site uh, based on HTML. However, I thought it would still be uh, cool to add some effects to this, the Bootstrap site that we're working on right now. So first thing we're going to do is open up the custom CSS file that we've been working with. And the first effect we're going to uh, use is the transform. So we want to apply this to our thumbnail class. So we're going to go dot thumbnail image hover transform scale and we're going to select 1.1. Now obviously you can uh, increase or decrease the scale. Uh, and we're, we're just going to use 1.1 for this example. So when we refresh our page, now when we hover over our images, uh, you'll see that it zooms up and adds a transform effect. Now the one thing here is that it's, it's kind of very choppy. You hover over it and bam, it kind of zooms in right away. So that's why we want to add a transition effect to kind of ease that. So again, we're going to um, apply this to our thumbnail image and this time we don't need hover and we're going to use the transition effect now here there's four things that we need to specify the property the duration the timing function and the delay so for property we're just going to uh, go with all uh, duration we're going to go with 0 0.3 seconds the timing function is going to be ease and the delay is going to be zero seconds and for the width also we need to specify uh, 100%. So save that, refresh our page, and now you'll see that it's a much uh, smoother tra uh, transition. It's, it's not all uh, choppy. So there you, you, you can see what the transition effect does. Now the one problem right now is you'll see that when we hover over the image, uh, see we have this kind of border uh, this border around the image where the thumbnail is. Well, what happens now when we hover over it, the image is exceeding that thumbnail, which uh, it's, doesn't really look good. So what we need to do is add one more line of code here. So we're going to go thumbnail. And here we're going to specify overflow hidden. Save that. Refresh. And now you'll see that when the uh, transition and transform effects come into play, uh, it doesn't overlap the thumbnail, so uh, it looks a lot nicer. It's not kind of protruding uh, over the, uh, the thumbnail. So that's it for a tutorial on CSS transform and transition effects. And in the next tutorial, we're going to actually uh, build out the... Uh, theme page a little more so what we're going to do is we're, once we click on one of these items it's going to bring us to a new page and uh, we're going to build that out a bit and continue really working with uh, bootstrap so make sure to rate comment subscribe and we'll see you in the next video